Millions of Americans are suffering from chronic pain, especially back pain, and need medication to make it manageable. On the other hand, many say they've gotten hooked on those same drugs designed to help. Now researchers are looking at safer solutions that may help avoid all the high toll of addiction. 38-year-old Kroni Creoni Lerns has experienced a lot in her lifetime, from traveling the world as a Marine to surviving stage 4 breast cancer. She's overcame every challenge until injuring her back in the gym. I'm a young person, I'm an active person, and so I want to still continue, especially being a cancer survivor. She didn't want to take pain pills for her back, and experts say for many people, there's good reason. And those people who tend to go down the path of utilizing opioids have a hard time kind of riding that ship and going in the other direction. Professor Albert Lee studies health information. He looked at the numbers for 45,000 patients with acute low back pain and followed them for a year. The patients who started physical therapy within three days of being evaluated had fewer Fewer ER visits were less likely to seek out advanced imaging and they were 10 to 15 percent less likely to use a pain medication over one year. Researchers say immediate referral could lead to huge savings each year. We can uh, achieve a cost of saving of seven billion dollars nationwide. She saw her doctor. Maybe the muscles down here. And now manages her pain through yoga and exercise. And I can just enjoy things a little bit more and not be so rough on myself. It's just kind of a general sense of And in addition to physical therapy, researchers nationwide are working to find non-opioid drug treatments. A jury